WAN Chains XFlows, a decentralized solution that enables native to native cross chain transfers between blockchains, has been enabled for Ethereum. Users can now leverage WAN Chains decentralized cross chain bridges to provide easy, non custodial transfers of ETH between chains without the need for a centralized exchange. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to move ETH between Layer 2 solutions, send it from Layer 2 back to its Layer 1 source chain, and lastly, send ETH from Ethereum to WAN chain. Let's get started. First, access the WAN bridge by visiting www.wanchain.org and clicking on Bridge. You can also access the bridge by typing bridge.wanchain.org into your browser. Once there, Connect your wallet at the top right hand corner of your screen. You will then be presented with various wallet connection options. For the purposes of this video, we will be using MetaMask. We will also be using an existing wallet. Your MetaMask wallet address will then be displayed here. If you have yet to set up your MetaMask wallet, go ahead and do that now by visiting www.metamask.io and download the extension for your specific internet browser. Returning to the WAN bridge, within the Token Cross Chain tab on the left hand side, you will see a section to identify the desired asset you wish to send, and sections to detail the origin and destination chains. On the right hand side, you'll see sections where you can input the sender's and receiver's wallet address, along with the section where you could specify the amount of which you wish to send. Let's demonstrate how to use Ethereum XFlows between two of the most popular Ethereum Layer 2 solutions, Arbitrum and Polygon. In your MetaMask wallet, switch the network to the chain you wish to send funds from. In this example, select Arbitrum 1. If you don't currently have Arbitrum 1 listed as an available network, you must add it manually. Simply click on the drop down seen here and click on Add Network. If your desired network can't be found in this section, click on Add Manually and input the relevant information. We've successfully switched the MetaMask network to Arbitrum 1. Now that we have done so, we are ready to use Ethereum XFlows. In the drop down menu seen here, select ETH. Identify Arbitrum as the origin chain. Now identify Polygon as the destination chain. To the right, you'll see that your connected wallet's address has been automatically identified as the sender with the corresponding amount of ETH available within that wallet. Below, you will need to input the receiving address if you would like to send funds to another network, but receive those funds in the same wallet address, simply click the button seen here. Identify the amount of ETH you wish to send and click Next. Click on Confirm. Review the details of the XFlow transaction. When you're ready, click on Confirm. Sign the transaction within your MetaMask wallet. We've successfully sent one Ethereum from Arbitrum to the Polygon network using XFlows. We can confirm this by opening our MetaMask wallet, switching the network to Polygon and clicking on the Assets tab. You'll see we currently have one wrapped Ethereum within our Polygon Network MetaMask wallet. If you don't happen to see your recently transferred Ethereum within your MetaMask wallet, you may need to add wrapped Ethereum's contract information manually. Do so by clicking on Import Tokens. You will then need to input the token contract address, token symbol, and token decimal. You can find that information by visiting a coin tracking site such as CoinMarketCap. Simply copy the contract number and paste it within the token contract address field. Next, let's use Ethereum XFlows to send ETH from Polygon's Layer 2 to Ethereum's Layer 1. Change the network in your MetaMask wallet to Polygon. In the drop down menu seen here, Select ETH. Next, identify Polygon as the origin chain. Then, identify Ethereum as the destination chain. On the right hand side, input the receiving address. We will receive funds at the same address on a different network. Therefore, we will click this button right here. Identify the amount of ETH you wish to send and click Next. Click on Confirm. Review the details of the transaction, and when ready, click on Confirm. Approve the transaction within your MetaMask wallet. We've sent one ETH from Polygon to the Ethereum network. 
we can confirm this by opening our MetaMask wallet, switching the network to Ethereum, and clicking on the Assets tab. Lastly, let's use Ethereum XFlows to send ETH from Ethereum to WanChain. First, change the network in your MetaMask wallet from Ethereum to WanChain. Make sure the network within your MetaMask wallet is set to Ethereum. Identify Ethereum as the origin chain. Then identify WAN chain as the destination chain. To the right, input the receiving address you wish to send funds to. Identify the amount of ETH you wish to send. Then click on Next. Click on Confirm. Review the details of the transaction. And when ready, click on Confirm once more. Approve the transaction within your MetaMask wallet. We've sent one ETH from Ethereum to the WANCHAIN network with just a few clicks. You can confirm this by opening your MetaMask wallet, switching the network to WANCHAIN. You can see that we currently have one WAN ETH within our wallet. If you're not able to see your WAN ETH balance, you may need to import the token manually. Simply click on Import Tokens. And once again, you'll need to input the token contract address, token symbol, and token decimal. To obtain that information, head over to CoinMarketCap and copy WAN ETH's contract address. Paste the token contract address within the field seen here. Click the Add Custom Token button, and now your WAN ETH balance should be viewable. Don't wait. Try Ethereum XFlows today.